The next one is, who is my next appointment? So you're, you're prospecting. And uh, so, are you my next appointment? Are you my next appointment? And then and I kind of changed it myself. I said, you are my next appointment. I'll tell you another thing that I did also prospecting. Uh, these are things you won't hear very often because I, I very, like, there's a reason why I get the results, right? So what happens is that I'm one of the few agents you'll ever meet that there's seven, I did seven figures in 2006 and whatever, no mind now, and without advertising. No flyer, you never find a flyer, you never find an ad, nothing wrong with it, not, not a billboard, just talking. But yeah, just a phone, just talking. So what I do is that when I'm talking to somebody, don't tell anyone the secret. I'll actually say their name before I prospect. So I go, Lucy, like that. And it's good for, it's good for long names. Cause we have a we have a certain pocket where there's uh, Sri Lankans, man they speak fast, and uh, so you look at the name it's like Sivalanginarang, King Langwam, and that's the last name, not even the first, I'm the second. I'm not even exaggerating, and uh, so you know what I do actually is I'll put on radio stations of ethnic groups, and I'll imitate them so I can imitate them, right? Seriously, I do that a lot, so. I, I'm on the radio. So what happens is that I get that rhythm in the voice. So when I'm speaking to them, it's so easy to mirror and match them, right? You don't have to go as extreme as me. You know, in fact, I've got two screens. And on this screen, guess who I've got? I got pictures of Bruce Lee. Because he said no style is the best style. He went learn all the styles. I got all these pictures of him on the because I, I I find out. On a webinar, it's kind of good to get that anchor. He created the the, uh, the no style. In other words, you in real conversation, it's a biological. We're dealing with biology, and biology is random. If you got a dog or a cat, they do what they want sometimes. Same as human beings, they don't always follow the script. So I want to be the one that I can adapt to real time to what you're saying right now in real time in this moment, and that's why. Uh, in Scarborough, there was 600 people. The president of a very large company, you know, the, probably the first, he's on the stage and he actually said on the third of the fourth day, he said, I'd like to introduce you to my hero. And I was in the back and I'm thinking, oh, I think he's calling me up. And it was me. And I was handling objections from the stage to the people in the audience. And this is like tough already to do it with your peers. But how about your peers that are your competition? And one of them we just beat out of a listing the night before in the Durham region, it's called. Right on the night before, and these guys, are, you know, so it's not just that, right? It's your competition. So when you look at that, you think, wait a minute. What, what you know, how upset do you want to be in skills? I'm, I, I, I'm the Bruce Lee level, you could say, of obsessed with getting better. Why? Well, if I can go to a listing appointment and they got four interviews, why not get and I get the listing? I just made money, right? What if I had somebody on my team that went on a lot of appointments and uh, for a certain period of time, and I, and I, and I watched, I said, I've noticed that you're getting listings, but you're going twice on the appointment. I mean, you are getting some, but how come you're going twice? He didn't realize it. He goes, you're right. I'm going, why do I, you know, so something happened there that there was an, an affinity to go with that agent, but something, it wasn't closed. Because even though they did interview more people or I had to think about it, they called him back. So what if he could just say the right thing to get that signature? You know, you'd save a quarter of a day by not going back, plus risking other people jumping in there, right? So that's, uh, I've talked for a bit about some things that you may have not thought about before. So remember, who can I help today? And, and you can use both, whatever mood you're in. Who needs my help today? Who needs my help today? Right? That's a really good thing because you want to fill your mind in those gaps between calls with thoughts that you control. Otherwise, a thought will come, like I mentioned, are you hungry? You know, you, you know go get a coffee. You, they'll pick you up. The next thing you know, you're at Starbucks lining up and there's 10 people in front with masks on or whatever. And now you're no longer prospecting. Well, you can do this tomorrow. You know, you're not in the mood. You know, you should always prospect when you're in the mood. It doesn't make sense. You gotta be performing at your best.
That's true. You can rejectify anything, right? 